Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another episode of MLS Goes Abroad here on FIFA 16 LA Galaxy Career Mode Series. And I want to start out by saying this episode is going to be a little bit different because I screwed up. I've had some just absolutely terrible computer problems in the past week. And in the last episode that I tried to record, the audio got completely, completely screwed up. I recorded for about four hours. I recorded this series and then the Captain America episode. And I went back and the audio was just awful. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, a.k.a. RBT, coming at you with another episode of MLS Goes Abroad here on FIFA 16 Career Mode. Just listen to that, man. That audio was just awful so i cannot use that audio footage at all so what i'm going to do for that whole recording because everything was already saved but what i'm going to do for this episode since all that gameplay already happened i'm going to go back and edit up all that footage and put that at the beginning of this episode and just do a post commentary on that and i really don't like doing post commentaries but i really have no choice here so what i'm going to do is do that and then we're going to hop into another game live for this episode. And that's probably going to be it because that'll probably be about a 15 minute episode. With the first part of this episode being a post commentary with the highlights of the last, well, what should have been this episode. And then one live game for this episode. And what you see right now actually is the standings of the MLS and how that ended up. Because their season was already over as we started our career mode. And this is all the teams that got swapped into the MLS. For our MLS teams being swapped into those particular leagues. So UD Almeria actually won the league. This is really, really weird because I was going to show you these standings in the last episode, but like I said, the audio got screwed up. So I was going to do it at the beginning of this episode live. And I could have swore Dag and Red and York City were 19 and 20. And now it's different. And I don't know how that could be the case because the MLS season's already over. So how in the world did that change? I might go back and include that footage as well, but what, what the heck? Uh, but regardless, York City, man, 11 points. They didn't fare too well. But with that said, we're about to jump into the post commentary. I hope you guys do enjoy. I do apologize that this episode's a little bit different, but hopefully from now on it will be fixed. Make sure to pay attention, though, because we have some pretty cool signings coming to the club, a couple games, and we'll be right back here with a live game to end off the episode. So the first thing that we do is get a transfer offer for our 24-year-old 60 overall striker, Charlie Rugg, who we really don't need. So we counter offer a little bit more than his value, and hopefully they will accept that. Here is the big transfer that I've been wanting to tell you guys about for so long. Akin Finwa, an absolute legend. Going to get him for a bargain from AFC Wimbledon. Hopefully that is for 250000 He's only on 750 pounds per week. And also another guy we're trying to get is a young left back, Brendan Galloway from Everton can play left back, center back, right back. Very versatile, could even play him higher up on the pitch on the wing if we needed him to. Try to get him from Everton for about a million. But Akin Fenwa though guys, if you don't know who he is, just search him on YouTube and you'll have hours of entertaining footage. The guy is an absolute tank. And yeah, we'll see if that deal goes through. But going into this first game of the episode against Real Sociedad, we have one chance in the 50th minute. And the header does not quite go in. 60th minute. Trying to clear the ball here to get out of danger. They pass the ball back into the box. They shoot it. Bingham with the save. And luckily, he was offside. And it's still nil-nil. Moving along to the 73rd minute. They cross the ball in. And it is deflected back to Bingham. Leonardo with the deflection. But of course, of course, Carlos Vea is there to put the ball past Bingham. And it is Real Sociedad 1. LA Galaxy nil. Very unlucky bounce. Leonardo actually got the foot on that. Bingham didn't even get anything on that one as we try to notch things back up in the 84th minute. Ball sent in. Not the greatest ball in. We get a deflection and we just get absolutely smaggle topped and he got hurt but no foul. A few minutes left to go to try to get one point from this game. Pass outside to Zardes. Zardes on the edge of the box. And he gets smaggled off once again. But what the heck, ref? How is this not a penalty? I was so mad. I wish I could have showed you my live reaction. But that is going to do it. As we drop three points in this one. As we lose to Real Sociedad 1-0. Our first loss of the year. But as you see here, both transfer offers were accepted for Akin Fenwa and Brendan Galloway. And we do get the 190k for Charlie Rugg before the board gets their allocation. As we try to offer Akin Finwa the 750 that he was on at AFC Wimbledon. For some reason he wants 4.7 thousand. I was kind of disappointed because I thought I was getting him for 750. Don't know why he wants to get 
4.7 thousand when he was getting 750. But anyways, Brendan Galloway here asking for 5k per week. So why would Brendan Galloway ask for 5k per week and Akin Finwa ask for just under that? That's kind of kind of boggled my mind. But Akin Finwa, guys, I'm so so excited about him. Like I said, he's such a legend in the FIFA community. But now we are having to revamp the offers a little bit as they declined. Having to give Brendan Galloway a little bit more because, of course, he was wanted to be closer to home and didn't want to leave to L.A. And so did Akin Finwa decline his contract. So I was like, what the heck? I'll give him just about what he wanted to go with 4.5k instead of 4.7. Because, I don't, like I said, I don't know why it goes from 750 to 4,000. But regardless, Brendan Galloway keeps declining. But Akin Finwa accepts his offer. And he is the newest member of the LA Galaxy. Akin Finwa to the MLS that's it doesn't get much more epic than that so once again trying to offer Brendan Galloway an important first team player role because he wasn't accepting that squad rotation player and he finally does accept his offer to so welcome to the team Brendan Galloway excited about him a young player only 19 years old and he could get some playing time right away but look at Akin Finwa he is 5 foot 10 242 pounds the guy is an absolute tank 98 strength the highest strength rating in the game also has pretty good heading stats so i'm excited to use him he actually starts this game against valencia as in the 12th minute they get another deflection goal why does this keep happening to us every goal it seems like is a deflection goal as valencia goes up one nil in the 12th minute against a very talented Valencia side. It's a cross in. How beautiful was that? An absolute epic ball sent in. Not a bad header either in the left side of the netting. And I never expected that to work for them. But it's 2-0 just like that. And things don't get any better here. Perez passes it off to Piatti. Piatti back to somebody. And Piatti gets laid off the ball and just knocks it. Just knocks it right into the net. What a strike into the right-hand side over Bingham he no nobody was saving that it's just it's ridiculous 45th minute though we're down 3-0 this is just going awful Valencia is just playing out of their mind one touch from Perez and in the right side of the netting again I've, I've never seen a team honestly never seen a team on any career mode I've ever played play as well as Valencia did in that first half it was ridiculous and this is on world class I don't even that's even tougher than legendary but Zardes here finally puts the Galaxy on the board as he scores an absolute banger his first goal of the year and hopefully we'll see more of that from Zardes in the upcoming games but still 4-1 in the 60th minute is there any comeback in us but no things just get worse just gets so much worse just look at this own goal from De La Garza what was he thinking I was trying to clear the ball and right off his chest 5-1 and it just it doesn't get any easier they just keep laying off the ball to each other and just striking the ball in the right side of the net every single god dang time, dude. They, they're just scoring absolute bangers. Absolute bangers every time. Still 6-1, and there's another one. Another one. Like, I, I couldn't do anything in this game. The most lopsided game I've ever played. Bingham could have possibly got there, but I honestly don't know, guys. It, this was just an absolute travesty. But Zardes here with his weak foot somehow gets that one past the keeper. So that's the positive. Zardes with two goals in this one. But that's it. We lose 7-2. 7-2 to Valencia. Just look at those stats. Seven shots on target. Seven goals. Put that one in the pass. And let's get into the live commentary. So we're back to the live commentary, and you guys saw those last two games. We played awful, so we have got to do something and get back in a good form. Like we were to start off the year with the win against Real Madrid. So we're going to do some player development right here. Going to train a couple players, and let's see if we get any growth right here. That would be ideal. And Thompson grows a little bit, but nobody grows to a higher overall. I'm not sure if I included it in the editing or not, but there are three free agents I'm looking at signing and two of them have already accepted their contract. One is Jeffren, and the other is Joseph Mir Ballon. He is a CDM, pretty good. I think we actually do need a CDM more than we need Jeffren. Jeffren's 68 overall. He's a skiller. He's still decently young, 27 years old. His overall might jump up to 70. He's worth 14.5 thousand per week. But then, like I said, we need a CDM because our only true CDM in the team is Steven Gerrard. And what if he gets hurt? He's old. This guy's 27 as well, 67 overall, the same amount per week. 
I think I think we're gonna go with Balon. We're gonna go ahead and accept this, and I would love to have Jeffrey on the team, but we already have enough guys coming off the bench late in game, so we're gonna reject that offer. And what do you guys think about that Akin Fenwood deal? I think that's gonna be pretty cool, but he didn't play too well in his first game. Don't know if you guys saw too much of that, but oh my god, we lost 2-7 in that game. But this guy as well, Hazim Amam. He's a right back. He's they're all 27. Just now realized that, but I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think he's worth it. Look at 9k per week. That doesn't seem like too much, but I, maybe I'll need that later to you know renew some contracts and maybe use it for some pre-contracts in January. So I think I think I'm gonna be happy with the Joseph Mir Ballon signing and just stay with that. We're about to jump into our last match of the episode. Like I said, just one match this episode because we had to do that post commentary at the beginning. But after this, when we are not in a transfer window, I'm not sure if I already said this, but I'm planning on playing three games per episode, and once we're in a transfer window, probably two games per episode. But, but unfortunately, this Deportivo match is going to be the only live match in this episode. But one thing I want to do before we do get into that match is set up our Youth Academy. Yet to do that, I probably should have done a little bit sooner, but I wanted to see what I was going to do with the free agents. We don't have that much to spend, but anything is better than nothing. We need to go ahead and sign a couple scouts to our youth staff, and let's see who's available we have 831,000 in our budget after I adjusted the wages. And I think we should get at least one decent scout. Bogdan. What type of name is that? Bogdan Bogdanovich. Huh. From Croatia. That's interesting. Three star, three star scout. I mean, that's not bad for the LA Galaxy. I think I'm going to go ahead and. Well, I, I already signed him. So there goes half our budget. We're going to go ahead and set him up somewhere. Where are we going to send him to? You know, since I'm from the United States, LA Galaxy's supposedly the United States, although we're in the Liga, we're going to send him to the United States and see if we can get any American talent. Send him there for about six months. I think I'm going to sign one more scout as of right now, and let's see who we have. Do we just go? I, I can't afford. I would really love this guy. Maybe later on, maybe in January when I can request some extra funds, we can get a five-star scout, although he's not five-star, five-star. Five-star judgment's really all that matters. But with that being said, I can't really afford this guy either. So we're just have to go with the two-star, two-star scout, Juan Morantes. And we're going to set him up. I guess we'll go ahead and send him to Spain. He's from Spain. Maybe that will help him out a little bit, find some better talent. I'm going to make a couple changes in the starting 11 since we played so bad in last episode. Tommy Thompson has just not played well, especially in last episode. He was okay in the Madrid game, but I let somebody else start at Cam. And that's going to be Dembele. I'm going to let Dembele start at Cam and see, you know, how he can play at that position because because he's still young, I want to give him some playing time, but with the two strikers that we have, it's kind of hard to get him some playing time that's not just late in game, so that's going to be that. And then why don't we give Brendan Galloway some playing time, let him play instead of Robbie Rogers for a game, and you know what, why don't we go ahead and let Ballon play instead of Gerard? let Gerard get a little bit of rest, let the captain rest a little bit, and hopefully, I mean, I could bring Gerard later on in the game if I wanted to. I just want to see how Ballon plays in game. Get this ball up to Dos Santos. We, this is our first real attack this game. Send this ball over the top. Oh, Robbie King's there. Robbie King's there, and he gets taken down, and that's not a pin. I think he just fell down. There we go, Robbie King. Nice job. We have a guy open down the middle. That's Dos Santos Ooh, on the wing, that is. Send this ball in. Oh, oh, that's a goal. Dembele comes up from the camp position. A nice run. From Dos Santos down the wing, sends a nice ball in, although it was kind of slow. Somehow, somehow got through there. As you see right here, just kind of went right past or right behind the defender. Dembele, with the first touch, puts the ball in the back of the net. Nice finish. Oh, back to Dos Santos over the middle. Dos Santos, there's a run. Oh, if he had a good touch, he still hangs onto the ball. Dos Santos, oh God, get the header, get the header. Oh, Robbie Keane. Oh, I don't know even what I was saying there. Can we get this ball off to Robbie Keane? Robbie Keane, the Irishman with the pace, with the finish. Finish, and that, oh my god, I was trying to smash that sooner because the keeper was out. Oh god, no, I thought I got all ball there. Is that Galloway with the foul? Oh man, 45th minute cheese, I got a bad feeling. He doesn't get a yellow card there too, man. I didn't think it was that aggressive. Galloway's on a yellow though. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Get that out, Palmer, get that out. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Jesus freaking Christ, dude. The it ain't meant to be, is it? Oh, just look at this replay. Brown couldn't get it out. Took 15 deflections. And I think that was the that was the theme of the games earlier was they kept scoring deflection goals. And what do you know? Another one. Another one in the 45th minute. 
I just knew it was bound to happen. Oh my god, no, big mistake for me. Big mistake for me. Oh, Bingham with a big, 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 big save. Please just have a little bit of pace, a little bit of pace to get this one to the box. All right, Keen, nice job. Send this one in. Good pass, good pass. Finish from Dembele. What was that? No, no, no. If those Santos can get that deflection, that's a goal. Oh, Palmer, what are you doing? This is not good, guys. This is not good. Oh, De La Garza with the great clearance, but they still have a chance. They're still inside the box. Borges. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. That should be a save. Good job from Bingham. But on the counter here, Dos Santos. Oh, oh. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Here we go. Robbie Keane, use that little pace you got. Back inside. Back inside. No, 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 no. Oh, man. That pass and the game is over. Oh, I probably should have tried to shoot it, but I wanted to make sure I got it, and Keane could not deliver the final pass, man. God dang. Send this one to Akin Finwa. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Here we go. De La Garza. De La Garza. That's a penalty. Oh, no. Oh, man. I thought that could have potentially been a penalty. Here's my last attempt, boys. Here is our last attempt at anything out of this game aside from a draw. No. They're going to call it right there. Why? We had a ton of chances in the first half. Not really any in the second half aside from that Robbie Keane missed pass, which 100% would have been a goal if I got through. But a few positives to take out of this game, though. I don't know why Brendan Galloway had such a low rating, but he felt really, really good in this game. And Boulogne, who we just signed off of the free agency... He was fantastic in this game. He actually made runs at the CDM position, although I'd rather him stay back, which I probably should just adjust that in the settings. But he kept winning the ball in the midfield, made some pretty good passes, maybe only one or two bad passes the whole entire game. We just got our first international offer from Peru, and I am going to respectfully decline this. Although, wow, they want you to reach the round of 16 stage with Peru. I, uh, I don't know about that, but if I do get offered the USA job or any jobs in particular, do you think I should accept that? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you guys want me to accept a USA job, I'll definitely be sure to do that, although pretty sure the World Cup qualifying is already done for the USA at this point, and I'm not sure how to check if they have qualified or not, so we kind of suck to take the job and not be in the World Cup. So let me know if you know what to do about that. Last thing for this episode, gonna do some quick training right here and everybody grows, but nobody grows to the next overall. And now we're gonna sim a couple days up into the Toronto FC game. So it's gonna be the first time we match up against a former MLS team now in the BBVA. And they are currently battling relegation in 19th place. They have yet to win a game. They did draw one match. New York FC is in last place. Looks like they may be very well getting relegated. And Sporting KC is in 13th. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Once again, apologize that I had to do the post commentary at the beginning, but there's just nothing I can do about that. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And as always, any comments are welcome in the comment section below. Leave your thoughts on today's episode and any suggestions, and I'll be sure to try to reply to every single comment out there. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.